welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment with any questions you may have. So this video is going to be about another resale. It is in St. Mary. It's called Valley Close in Tower Isle. And the interesting thing about this house is it's actually a foreclosure. So I was doing some searching on foreclosed um, properties to see if there were any really good deals out there and I think this would be actually a really good income uh, property and great investment so this is the outside of the home really nice beautiful it looks very well kept um, just some information on the home it's listed for 30 million Jamaican dollars it's five bedrooms and four baths and the great thing about this home is it's set up as a two family house, um, like a townhouse. So it is in the area of Spring Valley, like I said, in St. Mary, it has views of the Caribbean Sea, which is awesome for this price point. Um, it's really good for investors. Like I said, it's divided into two homes. There's one side that has three bedrooms, two and a half baths with a kitchen, dining and living room, patio and balcony. And then the other side has two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms with the same kitchen, dining, living, patio and balcony. So it is not far from beaches, the river and other recreational facilities. And then the closest shopping plazas and businesses would be in Ocho Rios or Orcabesa. So this is really, I think a great property if you're looking for an investment. So you could actually live in one side of the home and rent out the other side on either Airbnb or probably maybe a long-term rental would be better for this location maybe. Um, so a lot of versatility here and definitely income potential. So I wanna show you more of these pictures. Uh, like I said, five beds, four baths, 30 million. All right, so here's the outside, exterior. So here's the interior. Not sure which kind of room this is. It's hard to tell, maybe a bedroom. Um, here's the steps. So nice tile they use for the steps. Here's one of the bathrooms. So pretty um, neutral colors for the bathroom. All right, so here's one of the kitchens. Now this is kind of bright um, for some people's taste. This is where you could really put some money into this and probably see a bigger return. So if you wanted to renovate this, it looks like some of the drawers are missing here. So this is definitely a house that would need a little TLC, a little work, um, but for the price of 30 million, um, since it is a foreclosure, maybe you could get it for less than that um, and have some money to put back into this house. So this kitchen might be something that you would want to renovate. Um, here's one of the bathrooms. Also here, it looks like this vanity is, is kind of dated. So that's something you can replace. Um, we've replaced vanities in Jamaica and they're around $100, $150 US, um, depending on kind of how nice or how big or different things like that. So maybe around a hundred bucks for a new vanity, um, but it would really help upgrade the look of this bathroom. Um, the tile looks like it's in really good condition. This um, edging here, you could probably leave and just like paint, do some painting to freshen it up. So here's a really great feature of the house, the view of the Caribbean Sea. You have this nice patio balcony area um, and you can see here the ocean. So you're not too far from the ocean and you get that really great view. Right, so here's a view of the property, a lot of room for fruit trees, which is great. Um, you could do some planting if you wanted. Here's another picture of the exterior. It looks like it might need some paint here. And like I said, just generally a little TLC. Uh, but I think overall the exterior and the interior look like it's in pretty good condition. Um, you know, it just needs some paint and maybe a few things here and there. So it looks like there's good parking spaces here. So maybe three, three, four cars could fit here. And a really nice fence they have here. Like I said, you can see there's a lot of room for planting if you wanted to put fruit trees or flowers. 
So here's the interior. Show some of the steps. Um, like it said in the description, it's set up as a townhouse. So that would lend to more like thinner, a narrow house um, that's more vertical. So you're definitely going to have stairs. So that's something to consider if you have, if you're going to be living in part of the house and you have like small kids, that might be something to consider. Or um, if maybe you have parents living with you that don't like to go up and down stairs, um, that's definitely a consideration. So keep that in mind with a townhouse setup, you're definitely going to have stairs. All right, this is the other kitchen. So this one really doesn't look bad, guys. The wood, this can be cleaned up, stained, painted. You could paint it a different color, um, fix these drawers here. The countertop, you know, you might want to replace that. The floor, it looks a little worn. Um, I don't know, you might be able to clean this up and uh, maybe put a rug down or something like that. Especially if it's a rental, you could just clean it up and put a rug down. All right, so I really like the ceilings, the wood, the exposed wood. Uh, this room has a ceiling fan, which is great, and more views of the sea. This would be a really nice place to just like relax, have a drink, your morning coffee, read a book. I'm sure it's very breezy up here because it looks like it's elevated. Um, and then you're fairly close to the sea, so I'm sure you get some really good uh, breeze in the area. So this is the exterior again. Just some things to point out. I see um, the clothesline here, so that's great. You have a big water tank, which is always good in Jamaica, so you can have a reserve of water. Um, so that's, that's a very good point there. Here's another bathroom. Um, this one looks like it could use some revamping. Uh, like I said, a new vanity, about 100, 150 bucks there. Um, the tile really doesn't look bad, guys. You could paint uh, maybe a different color just to freshen it up. And uh, the tile looks like it's in really good condition. You can see the reflection here. I'm guessing this is a shower with a shower curtain. This looks in really good condition too. So. I really don't think there's a whole lot you would have to do to these bathrooms except um, the vanities and some paint is what I'm seeing. So overall, I think this would be a really good buy. Um, 30 million for five bedroom, four bath, income potential, great for investors. Um, you have your sea views. There is some work that needs to be put into it, but it's not like a total gut job. So I would say the kitchens definitely need some help. The whole place will probably need a coat of paint and vanities in the bathrooms. So yeah, think about it guys. I think this would be a really great investment. Uh, let me know what you think of the location um, of the house in general and the pricing. Um, if you're interested in this house or any other house, uh, please reach out to Nicola James. She's a real estate agent there in Jamaica. She also is a mortgage broker. She works with all the financial institutions in Jamaica. So she can help you from the real estate side buying the home and then also securing a loan if that's something that you want. So she kind of helps streamline that process um, with buying the real estate and the mortgage. So really great contact to have. So reach out to her. I'll leave her information in the description. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment with any questions. See you next time.